Welcome to Age of Noob, everyone. And today, we're looking at one of the most iconic Age of Empires cheats, the Photon Man. Rest assured, I'm still working on the Janissary video, which will come in a few days, but I wanted to share with you the Photon Man as a quick video since our embargo was lifted today. So, without further ado, pick up your laser guns and let's dive right in. Okay, let's start with the history. Photon Man was first introduced to us back in 1997 via the original Age of Empires. These guys spawned from the town center and they absolutely decimated anything that moved. They had a ridiculously high attack speed and as easily the most overpowered units in the game. Although the original Age of Empires 2 didn't have Photon Man, its definitive edition later added the cheat code. The AoE 2 version isn't as powerful as it's shooting some sort of RPG instead of lasers and has nowhere near the original attack speed. Still, the unit design remained faithful to the original. But what about Age of Empires 4 then? Well, let's find out how good they are in the most recent game of the franchise. Before we dive into the stats, let's take a very close look at the Photon Man's design since we now have a proper 3D model of the unit in 4K. The Photon Man's weapon honestly looks like an M4 with a noob tube if you've played the original Modern Warfare 2. But make no mistake, it's a laser gun. He's also rocking the typical spacesuit, including the life support system backpack that they usually carry on their backs. They also have an antenna of some sorts with red and yellow buttons on the left side of their helmet. The rest of the suit is pretty much all grey, with some generic black boots as well. One thing I would have loved is if they actually crouched or crawled in the stand ground position like the original, but they only get more of an alert stance like the rest of the units. From the perspective of sound design, the Photon Man has the voice lines of whatever hand cannoneer type unit your civilization has. Furthermore, the laser shot sound is very clear, as well as the impact sound it makes. One extra great detail is that you can even hear him reload his gun for heaven's sake. You'll see how good the sound design is once you hear a group of photon men shooting around at the same time later in the video. As usual, top notch sound design that is consistent with the rest of the game. Okay, with the visuals and the sound out of the way, let's talk about the stats of this bad boy. The Photon Man has a whopping 300 HP, but has no armor whatsoever despite all the gear that he's wearing. He's also excruciatingly slow at 1.12 tiles per second, which is the same speed as a villager. I'll give him some break from all the equipment he has on him though. The most important thing, however, is that he can fire his laser gun once every 1.62 seconds from a healthy 8 tile range, and will deal a whopping 299 siege attack. So how powerful are they, you may ask? Well, they really are centuries ahead. Once you have a ball of these guys, they're pretty much unstoppable and will flatten any fortified city and any living member in it within a matter of seconds. Although they don't shoot as fast as they did in the original Age of Empires, they are still as powerful as hell regardless. That said, in small numbers, they're actually not that strong. The reason for this is twofold. One, despite the large impact animation you see, the damage is only dealt to a single target and is not AoE. Second, lots of Photon Man overkill, because they shoot an already dead target. This behavior is consistent with other units in the game, such as scouts shooting a dead deer for the third time because its death animation hasn't finished yet. When you combine these two factors, you can actually swarm them with horsemen or respond with archers of your own to nuke them down quickly. And finally, since they have such low movement speed, they cannot hit and run like they were able to back in Age of Empires 1. Overall, I'm very happy with how the Photon Man turned out in Age of Empires 4. This is a great continuing homage to the original cheat from two and a half decades ago, and the unit design fits well in the world of Age of Empires 4, and should be fun for casual players to fool around with in their custom games. Kudos to the developers, this is definitely a success. That said, there's one final question from the community to the developers that I think they need to address at some point in the future. How do you turn this on? Well, that's all you need to know about the upcoming Photon Man cheat code in Age of Empires 4. I will release a new video tomorrow outlining every single cheat code that will be available to you folks next week, so stay tuned for that. As mentioned before as well, the Janissary video is also coming soon, so be sure to like and subscribe to not miss out on that one. As always, thanks for watching everyone, make sure you grab your laser guns next week, and see you all in the next one.